Casper shirt on. It's early in the morning. Reminder to myself, speak up so people could hear what I'm saying. So what a week, what a week. <sighs> so uh, I got a couple of stories. Uh, not really, I just today I'll just be a little amuse because uh, I don't know. I did, a, I did some, there was some interesting stuff that happened during the week, so just let it settle. Haha. <laughs> So, I guess I want to thank everybody, right? This has been this has been an interesting um, adventure so far. Ah, taking my seat, taking my seat, my Sunday seat. Squirrels, hello, squirrel. Squirrels. Uh, Staten Island uh, city, the squirrels are like pets. So, um, I there's a, there was a barrier there's a barrier on um, on YouTube. I just want to talk about that for a second. I'll, Stop talking about myself. Uh, there's a barrier on YouTube. It's um, you need a, you need a thousand subscribers and a, a four thousand uh, hours watched before YouTube will give you uh, the privilege of monetizing. And uh, hold on a second, I gotta say hello. To oh. What's up, buddy? <laughs> they come right up to you because they think I'm. They think I'm the squirrel man. They think I'm the the, the nut man. Beggars. So so that YouTube. Long story short, we blew through those numbers, and it's not so much that I'm. It's not so much that I'm concerned with the monetization of this, but what I am concerned with is that this this channel has been has long been shadow banned. Uh, as a result of, I believe, some of the enemies that I made, Eric Schneiderman and those guys, uh, the the uh, former AG of New York, who was in fact fired. Uh, in the, in the final analysis, he didn't do his job and he got fired. Well, not fired, but pushed out. Sexual, you know, charges of predatory. He's a sexual predatory. That's that's code code word for you. Better get out before we throw you in fucking jail because he didn't do your job, uh, Eric Schneiderman. One down, many to go. So I want to thank uh, everybody who's making that possible, you know. And um, it's a good thing. Let this, let this, let this build. Let the message build. Let, you know, I, I'm, I am who I say I am. I, I, I mean what I say. I say what I mean, right? So, if you like, if you can identify with that, I, I thank you very much. Um, Brian, uh, shout out to Brian Messina. Said make some T-shirts. Ooh, T-shirts. I like that idea. I like I like T-shirts. They're very. Uh, I went with stickers because the T-shirts are very expensive to, to manufacture. And uh, I'm gonna walk. I think better when I'm walking. And uh, the 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 T-shirts are I don't know. They're very. They're like I don't know. You got to lay out like twelve or ten dollars per shirt and try. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'll stick with the stickers for now. But. But the idea is <clears throat> keep them coming, and as it grows, it's a, it's a great idea. So Brian said, um, one of his quotes, one of, one of the things he said would make a good show, he said, take your tea and shove it. <laughs> I think I remember saying that. I do remember saying that. In the heat of the battle, I, I said that. I remember that. That was a good one. Take your tea and shove it. It's a, what tea? The tea from the, the Boston Tea Party. It's a fucking great reference. Love it. Love that one. Um, Oh, and Imran Awan, uh, special guest Imran Awan gave us a lot of them. That was a good guy, man. I like that. I hope he comes back, man. Fucking Imran Awan. Damn, we got Imran Awan fucking on the record. Shit. Fucking Imran. He's a, he's, his brother's out in Pakistan right now. He's the tallest guy in the room standing on his wallet. So, so from that, uh, Imran gave us, I love you, Debbie. <laughs> I love you, Debbie. Debbie. Uh, so that could be a shirt. That's good. That could be a shirt. Uh, he also said, "I like this one. I made this." One. Uh, you make many money. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Imran, man. He's a real character. That guy. I love that guy. Fucking Imran Awan, man. Got away with shit. Got away with. Got away with fucking spying, man. That guy. I don't know, man. What else? What other one? Um, uh, that's it for now. If you got any other opinions on t-shirts, I want to hear them, man. Uh, pow. That could be a shirt. Pow. 
Um, so, uh, so what else do I want to say? So I want to, I guess I'll call this the wave of public opinion. So yesterday was a kind of a serious, see this all leads to, let me talk about the election first, right, the fake election. We can't call it an election because it's a selection process. I believe and always have believed that the way to seize power, the founding fathers didn't give us the second amendment to steer us from power and tyranny, although they did. But more so today is, is the power to vote, the power to elect representatives that represent us. And there lies the solution to so many of our problems, because the number is 535. Overturn 535, 535 senators and congressmen. And when we do that, these decisions are easy. Single-payer health care, raise the corporate tax rate, lower the, the income tax to, to, to the 99%, lower it to 10%, drop it, so they, have, they keep their money in, the, in, in their hands. Take back our treasure from the corporations who are stealing it. Okay. Lower military spending. We don't have an enemy. Lower it by 80%. Single-payer health care as a right, guaranteed. Student loan, delete it. Make bribery illegal again. You break the law, you take a bribe and, and use your position, go to jail. These are simple things. They're just, a lot of it is, it, it's just a matter of writing the law and then, it, it, it's, you know. So on, on, on November 6th this year, the midterm elections for Senate and Congress, they don't want you to know about this. They want you to stay asleep. Don't, it's just, it has nothing to do with you. Just go back to sleep. Go back to sleep, enjoy your hookah. Go smoke your hookah, watch your lesbian channel. No problem, right? Koch brothers spending, I don't know, $800 million to elect a bunch of money grabbers across the board. So that's the, that's the broad awareness that a lot of us, I, know, I mean, I know it's fun going down rabbit holes and, you know, and, and, and chasing after spies and, and, and uncovering legitimate corruption in the system, but Again, above all our politicians, above all our woes, above all our problems, is a ruling class oligop oligopoly, a set of people who have gamed the system and now control so much wealth and have so much power that they've become virtually untouchable. And to think that through normal means, uh, familiar means, that we are going to somehow take that power back is unrealistic. It has to be a, a tsunami, a tsunami of awareness to push back, push back. Right? That's, what, that's, what the, that's what November 6th represents. And if you're in New York, pencil me in, Marcus Conti, write-in candidate for the United States Senate. Let's see what happens. We fail there, we go after, uh, we're running against Kirsten Gillibrand, because if she wins this time, she's good for six years. You're gonna have a corporate, shill, nobody, invisible senator for another six years. Congratulations, New York. Or you can pencil me in now and we take it. And if we fail here, we go after Schumer in 2020, during the presidential run, as we build momentum. So, I mean what I say and I say what I mean. So uh, I'll just end on a, um, an interesting story yesterday. Um, the story is always, it, I, I think after the fact, you know, unfortunately that's how I, I wake up and I, and I realize what was the thing that struck me the most about the day. And you know, it's a day for, for the voiceless to have a voice with the animal rights. You don't have to believe in that. You don't have to believe that I know it's a, it's a hard one to it's a hard hurdle to overcome, and I don't I didn't put it up to poke fun at anybody or, or or say oh look how stupid you are you don't see that you don't see that animals are like humans what's the matter with you hey you fucking stupid no I'm not that's not what I'm saying at all 
there's people in that crowd that would say that, but I, I didn't say that, and I certainly didn't find anybody. I take that back. I didn't find anybody in the crowd that really said that at all. They were, they're very smart, um, aware, compassionate people, and those are lefties. Most of them are lefties, right? So, see, I put politics aside that day. I didn't. I, I'm on their side. See how much in common we had, right? I didn't open the can of worms of why do you hate Trump, and and then you had that dumb face like they don't know why. I, I didn't do that to them. I, I, I listened to what they had to say, you know, in terms of animal rights. But there was one there was one story that I think stands out in my mind. This was fucking amazing. This guy was he had no idea what was coming, right? He was uh, went on twenty third street where that where that thing uh, where the gathering started, right? As you the it, it, it ultimately was a parade. I didn't film that because that's not my thing. It was too much screaming, too loud. I wanted to interview people and I felt like I got what I wanted to, to get, right? But I was in the parade and I walked down through the back a little bit, right? And the parade went right by Union Square, right? 14th Street, maybe six blocks away or something like that, right? Six blocks, eight blocks, downtown, towards downtown, down Broadway. And at Union, Union Square, there was a farmer's market, right? And they were selling fruits and vegetables and, you know, and, and they sell like, you know, they sell farm products and stuff, right? So in that crowd, you have a couple of vegetarians and vegans and, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll give you the squinty lemon face when they pass your, your counter when you're selling pig or chicken. Right? They don't like that shit, right? But it's subtle. Hmm. They give you this. Hmm. Right? The vegans, they walk by in the farmer's market with all the healthy food and they see the humane chicken, humane pig, right? And they go, hmm. Because they know it's a lie. But, but yesterday was different. See, yesterday that pig farmer guy was there, right? right? He was selling his, his chopped up pig in, the, in, in, his, in his legal operation and his very, very proper and acceptable form of selling slaughtered animal, right? Humane. He's a, he's a humane farmer. He works and he raises his pigs. And it's very humane. It's, it's, they die humanely. They, they don't, that's what they're here for. God sent them to die. Right? Something like that. And, but what happened was he had, he was, he was on the side, his stand was on the side of the, the, um, where the parade was coming down, right? Fucking from out of nowhere, it was like 6,000 fucking vegans screaming with bullhorns, you know, animal rights, signs, close the slaughterhouses, right? And this fucking guy, right? I didn't, all I saw, I saw the end of it, right? And when I got there, by the time my part of the thing, right? So imagine, right? Six, you're, you're selling dead pigs at a farmer's market, and this fucking wave of 6,000 vegans vegans come by shouting you down with bullhorns <laughs> I didn't again I didn't see what I saw was a guy like this like he was like he like they kicked the shit out of him like he was standing there with his arms crossed no customers and a cop a white shirt cop standing behind him protecting him white shirt means he was either, he's a captain right so he's NYPD captain standing by his stand exclusively to him to protect him from the the wave of fucking the tsunami of 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 voice the coming together of voice is what I what I wanted to say about it it's not that the message is not is when people stand up for 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 justice and and what is right right and and it and it becomes a tsunami that is just so powerful that you over you 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 overcome the margin of cheating the thing that holds it in place the corporate monopoly that holds it in place and you collapse it at least for a day right? that guy got shut down at least for a day and maybe he maybe he heard it being shouted down right but he's so caught in his ways. He's like, well, what am I going to do? I sell pig. What the fuck, man? What am I going to, 
I mean, what do you want me to go work at Walmart and sell vegetables or you know like to him it's it, or maybe he's been his family has been doing it for so long you know the nice man with the white jacket and he sells his his meat uh, what I'm trying to say is this to, to, to overcome change 535 right to really take take back power right you can't be nice it has to be a, a tsunami of voice this patty cake that that you know our revolution and the tea party and 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 the justice democrats and progressives it's not gonna work man they got their one they're way ahead of you and you're not playing with politicians you're playing with Wall Streeters that don't give a fuck about your opinion they control the media they they will you you get a you get a little momentum and they'll spend a million dollars gaslighting you on 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 television right because they own it you're not going to beat them the tsunami has to be enormous real leaders have to step up to the plate and take over right they can't it, it's not you, it, the days of patty cake are over and but the days of youtube are just getting started the days of independent broadcast where people can really get their their message out there people that kind of kind of see it right? can come together somehow some way and look at the things that we have in common rather than just our differences right, right? we all we're all different we all have our set opinions but we all agree on the corruption we all agree on the politicians are corrupt and they're not answering to the people anymore. We all agree on the, the um, I guess all of us agree. I don't think, I think where we disagree, a lot of us still, and I'm going to keep doing work in that area to convince you guys that I'm right and you're wrong, <laughs> which is the trickle-down economic theory is fake. It, it's false. It At one point it worked under Reagan and then you know even Greens as I said I've said it many times Alan Greenspan said that he that we underestimated it, it didn't work right it was we were wrong in, in, in our assessment because he said that they they underestimated the greed of corporations that they thought that if you gave corporations everything that they needed to prosper that they would trickle that money down to the economy and he said we were wrong they don't they don't do that they 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 keep it and they funnel it and and it's a, it's a failed system right? and the other trap is okay so socialism watch my video stroll through my videos I did a piece on socialism the meaning of this word and watch it I, I it's funny right? it's some humor in there and it's it's a lot of voices screaming in anger and and it tells you about this 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 label right it's it's nothing that I talk about right has anything to do with this label this word right that has been used for a hundred years to discredit the people like pros prosperity for the people right see they want capitalism but they don't want it for you they want it for them where they have all the advantage and they have freedom of speech and they have uh, subsidies from the government you fuck you you're on your own right that's 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 oligarchy that's monopoly that's oligopoly that's that's something different right that's what they have right now and they use this label of socialism right to, to, to prevent you from moving forward right? that's one of the words they use see Ray see Trump doesn't play into that Trump is because Trump doesn't believe in, in, in who knows what Trump believes in nobody really knows right? but anyway my name is Marcus Conti I went on a little too long for a muse um, but uh, th again thank you thank you all guys very much uh, t-shirt ideas song lyrics come on let's get going man. peace